So one of the favorite comments that I've been reading for the last like forever really is like, oh my God, I can't believe people still play this game. Or the next person that's like, holy shit, people still play this game? Question mark. Uh, or the other one that's very, very common and perhaps more than anyone else is like, this game is dead, lol, move on. Um, and I really sort of find it very interesting that people feel the need to come onto the, uh, my videos and make these sorts of comments when clearly like they have decided that the game is finished for them and they no longer enjoy it, but they feel that it's necessary to, to come here and remind people that this is the case. And I just wanted to speak to that sentiment and be really clear about what those people are actually saying in that moment. Um, and when they do this and they feel the need to come and make this comment, they do so because they're essentially validating their own decision to, um, to leave the game. You know, they'd like to remind everyone that they have left and they would like to sort of say that um, it's good that I left and I timed it well um, and that uh, the game is dead so I'm not missing out on anything, right? If the game in their view was alive and thriving and they were no longer playing it, so then obviously they would feel a bit silly and then feel like they were missing out on something. So when they say like, oh my God, people still play this game or this game is dead, what they're really doing is saying to themselves, I made the right decision by quitting the game uh, and this game is, uh, is shit, it's not for me um, and uh, therefore it shouldn't be for anyone else. So um, that's the context that uh, you know people sort of bring to the table when they make this comment. And I wanted to speak about it today because I've had a really sort of a lot going on in my head since the really important state of the game that occurred last night. Um, where, you know, Hamish and Yannick just really laid it all out for us in a way that they hadn't done before. Now, clearly Hamish and Yannick had given us a laundry list of a variety of problems and challenges in the past, but never has it been put in such a uh, frank and holistic sort of way. They may point, they may, in the past, they may have pointed to one specific thing that was broken, you know, like this part of the game sucks. But I think what they really said yesterday was that like the entire game sucks, you know, um, and they know that. And that's a, that's a true statement right now. Like there are many parts of the division that I absolutely love um, and, you know, really value and appreciate uh, the, as I've said so many times, the bones of the game, they, they're awesome bones, right? But we can't hide the fact that right now, this is not a good video game. And Hamish and Yannick said as much during the state of the game in a really open, honest, frank, and I think really important way, not just for our game, but I think for the industry in general. And this is where I kind of want to bring it up a level, right? You know, we are presented with a very um, sort of unique opportunity in this moment to work collaboratively to help rebuild one of the largest and most successful AAA games ever released. Uh, even Battlefield 4, back in like its lowest points, was not quite as dysfunctional as this game was. Uh, and certainly back then, DICE was absolutely nowhere near as open to um, feedback and collaboration with the community in that initial phase. It took them a while to get there and they eventually did. But uh, for a while, they were very closed shop. Similarly, Diablo was uh, a very functional game, but uh, it was terribly designed from an end game perspective. And Blizzard are not really known for community collaboration. That conversation never really took place. Uh, Destiny, year one. Uh, you know, Forever 29, the Vault of Glass, once you were done with it, there was not a whole lot of game left for you. Uh, and, you know, Bungie weren't really interested in having that conversation with us. Now, to the credit of all three developers, you know, that I just listed, which was Bungie, Dice and uh, Blizzard, they all did a fantastic job of rebuilding their games after that um, and all had their own different approaches to engaging community while they were doing it, right? But Massive are going down a very different path. Massive have, as I said, launched uh, one of the biggest and most successful games in history in terms of like new IP. It was actually the most successful IP launch in history uh, when it came out. And uh, they're basically saying to the community, we know this is not good right now. Let's have a conversation about how to make it better. And uh, that's tremendously courageous, like tremendously courageous. Most people in life, when they make a mistake, will do a lot of things to, um, you know, not admit that and to obfuscate the truth. Uh, but Massive are just here in front of us saying, you know what, we stuff this up. Let's talk about how we're going to fix it together. Um, and I think that, you know, I think we have to be aware of that conversation, the fact that it's going on and the significance that that holds in our medium, right? 
Video games are not made this way on the AAA level, right? If you are some indie developer with an early access game on Steam or whatever, sure. But Ubisoft being one of the biggest publishers in the world and The Division being one of the most successful launches in history, video games are just not updated this way with this level of like openness and honesty and transparency around what's broken within them. Um, you know, and, and I think the fact that this is taking place is a bit of a, like a, it's a thing, right? It's an absolute thing in the industry that I think other people are going to take note of and, and be aware of. And people are going to look at this experiment and they're going to ask themselves, like other developers like Blizzard and Bungie and Valve and all these companies are going to look at this and they're going to say, huh, are these guys right in their approach? Are they right to be so honest? Are they right to be so, um so vulnerable do you know what i mean like so vulnerable to the community uh and the answer to that question is going to depend entirely on the way that we as a community respond to that right if we want to say as many of my comments have said uh, have read in the most recent state of the game if we want to say the time for talk is over you've lost our trust this is finished i'm out of here fix your game, et cetera, et cetera, then that experiment from Yannick and Hamish and the massive guys will have failed. And everyone in the industry will look at that as a sign that the only way to develop your game is in a vacuum and to, uh, to you know, to, to not open up and not be vulnerable in front of the community. If, however, you know, we look at this and we say, cool, the massive guys know that they fucked things up and they've, they've been willing to admit it. And we're going to work with them and have a really good, honest, constructive conversation about how to make that better. And the game gets better as a result of that, that collaboration. And the community is stronger and more resolved as a result of that collaboration. Then everyone else in the industry is going to take note of this. And everyone else is going to say, cool, that is a good model for the way that you engage communities. That is a good model for how you rebuild broken games or games that aren't meeting people's expectations. So there's something happening here that I think is larger than just the division. And for that reason, I think I just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention. Now, I'm not expecting everyone in my comment section to suddenly turn around and just be like, you know, whoopee, this is great. Everything is fantastic. You know, I'm not expecting that. I know we will still have a lot of trolls, a lot of negativity, right? But my, my call out to everyone in the community, people that actually really like this game and really care about its future, is just think about the way that you interact with people around this game. Think about how you respond to trolls. Think about how you talk about it. Think about how you talk to Massive. And if you're really interested in actually making this game better and you know getting your value for money, because I know a lot of you have purchased the season pass and I know a lot of you are really pissed off about that, right? The best way I think to get it to make the game better is not to just like spew bile and go crazy. And I know only a certain portion of people do that. I'm not speaking to everyone here. That's a certain portion. But the best way to do that is to be like, to have a really constructive conversation and actually value Massive for their honesty and like provide constructive suggestions for how things could be better. And like be willing to, to go on this journey and saddle up for this, you know, because this could be really great. Like this is a very, as I said, collaborative approach to game development. Uh, at least I hope it will be if, if, the, if the guys are able to develop, to deliver on the, the vision they've painted. Um, and that's a chance for us to really help shape the future of a game that I'm sure many of us agree has tremendous, tremendous potential. So um, I just wanted to put that out there today because... Yeah, I've received over 1,300 comments on my state of the game uh, summary that I put up this week, which is like three or four times what I typically get. And uh, and it's really split, you know, 50% of people are like, you know what, thank you Massive for this honesty. And the other 50% of people are like, fuck you Massive, we're done. This game is dead, you had your chance and it's over. And I, ex and I really understand that perspective. But what I will say is that just like, Think of, of the opportunity that we've been presented here and think of how much we could make of this, both within the context of the division and with video games more broadly. I personally am really interested in engaging in that conversation as constructively as I can be um, because, you know, you guys know me and you know the way that I communicate and the way that I talk about this game. It's only ever constructive. Even when I talk about something being shit, it's constructive in the way that I say that. And, um, and I really hope that other people sort of do the same sort of thing in the next little while because, uh, yeah, it could be... It could be pretty cool if we get this right as a community and as massive if we all get this right together then everyone is going to sit up and take notice um, and other games are going to do the same thing as this in the future uh, and obviously we're going to get a better game as a result of it so to all you haters out there the division is not dead 
it's just um it's just really sick at the moment right and we are going to nurse it back to health with a really good collaborative conversation with massive you can join in if you like otherwise there's the door ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for listening if you found this video useful do drop it a like and uh share it as well if you like i mean we need to get the word out that this is the kind of uh conversation we want to have with massive and the more people know about this the the better you know it just it's just going to result in a better conversation so yeah do share the video uh subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh thank you very much for listening and thank you to, to, to hamish and yannick because uh, as i said i think what you guys are doing is very courageous and uh i i really do hope it pays big dividends in the future Anyway, guys, thanks very much. Take care and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.